Hello dear friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gerard and I'm here to uh, study math together with you. So, so far we have seen quadratic equation. So quadratic equations and inequalities. Equations and inequalities. So inequalities means that it's not equal to zero exactly but we have like less or greater than zero less or equal or greater uh, or equal to zero so these are inequalities how we solve quadratic equations we saw that we can do um, by factorizing or we can do it by completing the square uh, where it's needed we can also let me erase this. We can also use the general quadratic formula, which is this as for AC divided by 2A. This is a general quadratic uh, uh, formula. So x is equal to this. So if we want to know the value of x for a given uh, equation, for example, we have x squared plus 2A. Not 2a, sorry. Not 2a, not 2a. Absolutely not 2a, but plus 1 is equal to 0. We can see that here we can factorize probably 1, 1, so plus 1, plus 1, x squared plus, uh, so here we have x. Oh, I'm sorry, let me write it. I'm really sorry, let, let me write it in a very elegant way. So x, x plus 1, plus 1. So if we will multiply, we'll get x plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So this is the same as what we have here. So therefore, this is what we, how we can factorize it. But because they are just the same, so it's a perfect square, which means that x squared plus um, 2x plus 1 plus 0 can be factorized as x. Oh, well, we don't need this. We don't need this part because it's a perfect square. Then just put it like this. So we have seen completing the square and so on. So we also know that a quadratic equation is in the form of this a plus b square plus c and that if the coefficient of x square is positive we have a minimum and it has a u shape but if it's negative we have a maximum and it's in a, an n shape okay so now let's talk about discriminant what is discriminant so we know quite a lot about uh, quadratic equation by now but the discriminant is from this big uh, equation which is called the quadratic equation once again so this is a discriminant this is a discriminant so the discriminant what 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 is it it's uh, this so by uh, b square sorry minus 4ac and depending on the value of it if it's equal to zero or if it's greater to zero or it's less to zero so we can know more about the the curve so for example if it's equal to zero it means that it has only one value so if we have our axis like this this is x this is y if it has one one value so we know that it's going to cross the x-axis at only one point so it has only one real value but if it's greater so if it's greater it means that it has two values it can be something like this crossing at two points and if it's less then it's up here so it's not going to cross uh, the x-axis so right now that's what you have to know 
If it's equal, it has one value. If it's greater, it has two values. And if it's less, it has zero values. And we're going to practice. So remember this. Uh, once again, I'll put the same equation plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we already factorized this. We got uh, x plus 1 to the square. It's a perfect square is equal to 0. So we know if we solve this, if we, let's say, root root square on both sides, we'll have x plus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 1. What does that say? tells us? It tells us that there is only one root, and it's going to be here, minus 1. So the curve is going to do like this, to touch at minus 1 here. And by using the discriminant, we can prove that this is true. So we're going to calculate the discriminant. We're going to calculate the discriminant. The disc discriminant here is 2 square minus 4, 1, 1. And guess what we have? We have 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So the discriminant is equal to 0. That's why we have one real root only one so that's how we can uh, know you know how many roots uh, they are equal roots or one repeated root that's how it is okay so that's when uh, the discriminant is equal to zero so we'll have an example and we'll see uh, if uh, we understood something from this, then we have to move on because I have other things to do. So let's take uh, an example here. For example, x squared minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. So first of all, we know that the curve is going to be like this because the coefficient a is positive. So it's like this. The second thing is that is equal to zero sorry um, we can find the discriminant the discriminant is like this so we substitute minus four one five so what do we have we have nine minus twenty we have therefore minus eleven minus eleven means that it has no so the discriminant I will just write this is less than zero so it has no root it does not cross the x-axis where x is equal to zero sorry y is equal to zero so it has no root it does not cross the y-axis it's going to stay up there somewhere here it's not going to come down here or even to touch it that's what we know so i'm going to erase this we're going to try to uh, learn a little bit more about this uh, equation and so so far what we know is that it's like this and that it does not cross the x-axis it has no root but where does it cross the y-axis that's when x is equal to zero so we know that it's five so y is equal to x squared minus three x plus 5 when these two are 0 y is equal to 5 so this point is 5 okay and what else do we know is that that's something that I learned before minus b over 2a which is also part of the quadratic equation tells us where the curve is symmetry so if we have minus 3 minus 3 here 2a is 1 we have 3 over 2 is 1.5. So here is 1.5. 1.5. X is equal to 1.5. That's where it's symmetry. So it's symmetry along this line. Okay. And let's say we want to know also what are the coordinates for uh, this curve when it's uh, it has its minimum. So we need to... We already know it's 1.5. We just need to know what is it. What is it here? 
for x, uh, for y, sorry. For x we know, for y we don't know. Easy, peasy. So what we're going to do, just going to erase this. And we're going to take something to write. We just have to substitute this in the equation. So we have 1.5 to the square minus 3, 1.5 plus 5. And it should give us a value. So here I have my calculator. So 1.5, uh, if I put it to the square, it's 2 minus uh, 1.5 multiply by 3 it gives me 5 plus 5 so if I compute this uh, I'll just change the sign uh, wait a second all right so 2.25 minus minus I just said minus no I got a mistake here let me take the calculator in hand 2.5 minus 4.5 plus 5 gives me 3. It gives me 3. Uh, is it possible that it's 3? Hmm. hmm. I don't think it's right. So let me try again. Minus 4. Point 0.5 plus 5 yeah it's not possible that it's 3 so it's going to be 2.75 2.75 is somewhere here 2.75 so here is 2.75 and this so what we can do we can just uh, put everything in a nice way I'm going to sketch this uh, this graph for you. So we have the point one here, we have the point five here, we have the point two seven five here. We know that it's it's here, so it's going to cross there, and this is how it looks. That's it. That's uh, that's all about it. So it has no root, no root. It does not cross the y-axis, and and that's it. So this was an example where there is no root, and so now I hope that you enjoy this uh, video. Uh, just for fun, we'll quickly do something else. I tried to do it, made a mistake, and I saw the mistake, and we have something given like this, and we are told that it has roots, roots, minus 1, and 4. So there are two ways to do these things, but I didn't choose the smart way, because we know that we can factorize like this, or we'll have x here and x there, so it should have 1 here, and we should have 4 here, and if we just multiply we'll have x squared plus 4x plus uh, 5 uh, no sorry 4x plus 1x plus 4 which gives us uh, plus uh, wait a second am i going too fast uh, this is minus sorry because it's 4 here so this is wrong let me just erase this this is minus because it's 4 here so let me just it, the roots of minus 1 and 4 so it should be minus here so we have x squared minus 4x plus x minus 4 if we calculate it's 3x minus 4 so it gives us something like that, yeah. So if we compare with what we've got here, so we can say that p is equal to minus three and q is equal to uh, q is equal to f minus four. Is it correct? 
yes it's correct so these are the answers for the first part of it and uh, now we are given that, that was not the way I solved it but anyway this is the fastest way and you should remember the fastest way not the longest way what I did was to to say that okay we have uh, as root so um, minus 1 and 4 so I substituted uh, these in the equation I got two equations and then I just substitute uh, uh, one uh, unknown expressed in the other one in another equation it's a very long way and not uh, not easy and you can also make some errors all right so we got this we got this now they are telling us that there is just a twist to this there is a twist to this why because they say that now there is uh, what else there is plus all is equal to zero and it says that now uh, use these values of p and q that we found okay find the constant o for which this is has two real roots so now has equal roots equal roots means that the discriminant is equal to zero so we just have to substitute we are we already did this many times minus four plus r is equal to zero well, I'll make some space here. I'll remove this. I'll take something to write. This is 9 minus 4 times 4 minus 4 plus r. So we'll have to be careful here. This time this and this time that. So I have minus 9 plus 16 minus 4r is equal to 0. So now this plus this. What does it give us? It gives us uh, 20. This is 10. 10 plus 15 is 25. And we have 4 here. So R. Sorry. R is going to be. Let me just finish with this. I just wanted to do it. Because. So R is going to be minus 25 divided by minus 4 that's the that's it all right that was all about it so i hope you like this that you know what's a discriminant the discriminant is what tells you how many roots there are or if there are no roots and that's the b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac all right thank you guys and i stopped the video right now on this because i need to do other things so thank you for watching and give it a like share it with your friends and so on see you in a bit i will make another video cheers